it's AJ again. Today we're going to be going over the Wonder Mine uh, game and Decentraling and kind of explaining how you, how that works and what's going on there and possibly how to make a little bit of money for you. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so once you're in Decentraland and you're actually logged in, you may not actually be at the Wonder Mine place. If you hit X, it'll take you to Explorer here and you can actually go to Places right here. Um, and once that actually... So once you're in places, it's normally the first one or two, uh, you know, with the ice poker, the ice poker is up there all the time, and then Wonder Mine. So once you're there, you actually jump into Wonder Mine. It'll take you right here. Now, once you guys are here, guys, uh, information is the mines here actually fall from the sky like every minute, 20 seconds. It takes uh, five of these Wonder Tokens down here to mine uh, the mine, and also you need a pickaxe. So you'll need a pickaxe here to actually mine the rocks. Um, every time you mine, you get these ores and diamonds uh, to build wearables. And the wearables you can actually sell for the money. So we'll get into that. Um, so guys, to start, uh, once you're here, you actually have to get the axe. So you'll come here. The bronze axe is the first one you'll start with. You can actually scroll through with these red buttons down here. But the bronze axe is what you'll start with. Once you actually start, you'll hit this. Uh, button here it's this red lever here once you actually hit that the axe is going to pop out like right here somewhere and then once it's popped out you got it you actually go to the mines once you have the wonder tokens you get five wonder tokens an hour so you get to mine one of these every hour basically um, but they fall every tw uh, minute 20 so you're kind of asking why do they fall faster than you can get them and that's because there's a wagon here guys you can actually buy more tokens um, to mine more to get the wearables faster so if, if you think it's uh, if you think if it's a good idea to buy the tokens and then level them up faster just to put them on the marketplace to make the profit in between um, you could do it this way I haven't actually tried it that way yet but that's an option the other option guys is you'll mine them so it's kind of like a daily thing Every, you'll see everyone's kind of out here just standing around not really doing nothing it's more or less everyone's just out here doing dailies. They'll come and click on a mine and then maybe go to another tab and do something else and come back and click on another mine just to keep it going. It's kind of like a, I look at it as like a daily thing. I just got to come on and do my mining and then get off basically. And then the next day I get on, I'll have more wonder tokens because I get five every hour. So, but once you mine it here, guys, you can hit escape and then just hit the X button here. But we got three different things and then it'll just go to our inventory bag, which is this right here. I'm level 13 guys so you get XP as you every mine every rock you mine you get XP um, and then from there you're using all the gems and the ores and everything you're getting from the mines to actually build the wearables which I'll get into in just a second so we'll do one more because this is pretty boring stuff here guys you're literally just clicking on it you don't have to stand next to the mine once you click on it you got to come up and hit mine but you can actually like run away from it and it'll still mine for you um, even though the mines disappeared now but so you'll see I get the drop and it still gives it to me even if I'm not there so now that's keeps on collecting I'm gonna keep on doing this until I have zero wonder tokens down here and that's basically whenever you're out because you can't mine anymore past that now if you guys are new guys this is a little trick here uh, if you're new you can actually come to this uh, statue here so it's all the way across I know it's kind of like lagged out here but all the way straight ahead is where you start you'll come across the little tent thing and all the way here in the corner this guy if you interact with him for the first time he'll give you a hundred uh, wonder tokens so once you get down to zero uh, interact with this guy get a hundred more and mine it it only works one time but that's a little extra for you guys to get started and now let me show you the wearables and how to make them and how much money you can make off each wearable which is probably why you guys are here We'll do one more while we're coming over here. All right, guys, so this is basically like the proof of work. It's like a proof of work to how they got it set up. The mines fall from the sky. You actually have to mine them to create the wearables. So uh, it has you working, collecting the, uh, collecting your inventory here so you can actually make them. Um, but here, so you guys would make your first ax uh, and then you would level up. So you need the bronze ax uh, as well as these gems to make this iron ax. And then from there, you need the iron axe to make the titanium. I already got the titanium, so I need uh, 
four more red gems and 50 gold ores I believe those are and then I would be able to level up my axe to the next one which is the gold and you guys every time you level it up you're actually getting more of a bonus on your meteor so like you can see my or actually this is the next one but the next one I'll get is gonna be 40% more out of the meteor so uh, the more you level up your axe the more you're getting out of the mines which makes it faster to make the wearables so you guys want to make sure you're leveling up your axe first uh, all the way to the end here which is a lot I mean it's it's like step by step this isn't gonna happen overnight but you guys will level these up and then once you get them leveled up you're getting more and more out of the uh, out of the mines and it makes it easier and easier to actually make the wearables uh, one quick side note too: say you're just starting out and you have the bronze axe and uh, down here is your swings right here on my inventory box down here is the swings so every time I swing out in uh, mine I'm gonna lose one point so go to 79 next time I mine one uh, mine so once it's at zero uh, even if you got wonder tokens you can't mine so if you guys run out on one of the levels and you don't have all the gems or uh, basically the gems to level up you actually come all the way to the back to the, go back one more it's the repair your pickaxe uh, if you run out of swings here and you still got wonder tokens but you don't have enough gems to actually level up your axe you actually come here and you'll uh, repair your axe and you'll get a hundred uh, more swings on your axe that being said guys you're basically once you kind of realize you've been doing it for a while you're basically paying for the swings down here so for example I got the titanium axe right now so I have 80 swings here on titanium max I'm not gonna even if I had all the gems and everything I'm not gonna level it up right now I'm gonna use all <clears throat> use all the swings I basically paid for these swings basically so I'm gonna use all the swings down to zero and you can actually get it down to zero so make sure you use your last one all the way to zero and then you'll come over here and upgrade so that you get all your rewards off that axe and then you upgrade and if you don't have enough to upgrade to the next one you go back to that repair axe until you have enough to level it up but you never uh, want to level up or repair an axe before you're at zero on your swings because you have swings left basically so you need swings and the token and the wonder coins to actually mine and then you're getting all your different uh, gems and ores and stuff so I'll just show you guys one more time so we'll mine this one and I'm going to show you the wearables right now too And while that's going, guys, we'll start scooting through here. So that's the last pickaxe there. And then from here, we'll start the materials to actually build. So you got your glow metal. You got your blue fabric. The wearable tokens is basically the main one. Uh, so you're basically creating these wearable tokens so you can create the wearables. So you guys can see here, you need a decent amount to actually create one of these wearables. And a lot of the wearables need like three to five of these tokens. So uh, you got to basically stick with it daily but it, uh, it is free money because this is a free thing to do so but from there once you actually have the wonder tokens made you start coming through and seeing like what they have that you can uh, mint basically this is where you mint and you create the wearable so they have all these different ones these are basically the uh, beginning ones a little easier then you get to the horns they're a little bit more expensive and then you can start getting into like full suits basically like the tiger uh, warrior uh, suit which is and these guys too these suits give you a mining bonus too so you're leveling up your pickaxe plus you're leveling up uh, your uh, your wearables and then you're getting a lot more from mining basically so what it's, it takes a little bit to start but once you get it going then you start actually creating the wearables a little bit faster um, to here this is like the new drag or the dragon rider suit guys um, so just for example I'll just do this dragon head here so this dragon head here guys once you're able to create it and mint it like I said for free by just mining the mines and just doing it daily and uh, saving up your inventory here uh, you'll mint that right and then you can actually come to the marketplace on Decentraland and I went ahead and just pulled this up for you guys but this is like recently sold so the head uh, here for 400 mana and here's some other sales too so it just depends but three days ago even 39 mana uh, beginning of the year 85 so uh, a little range here but either way even if you look at the minimum it's 40 I would say the average about 60 mana here um, so guys how much is mana right now everything's on a dip but we're at 282 per mana so 282 and you're looking at like 60 so 170 bucks guys just to mint this and get on daily and just keep it going and then from there you know you can mint as many as you want these different items and just sell them daily so 
it's like a free daily thing to do. Um, you get on, do your wonder tokens, level up your axes, and then from there make the wearables and either one, keep them and wear them so you get more from the mines again, or you could sell them um, and make money. So however you guys like to do it, uh, personally me, I'm level 13, I'm still working on my pickaxes, so I'm still haven't like fully decided if I'm gonna keep mine or uh, sell it when I finally get my first one made. But uh, I think overall it's mostly about getting the axes leveled up and then uh, you know saving your inventory guys so you can make the wearables. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, I'll leave it in the description, uh, the marketplace for Decentral Land. So if you guys want to browse on there and see exactly how much. Uh, if not, guys, thank you for watching. <laughs>